what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so finally finally this is the day that I get to ride my good friends 2019 Kawasaki Ninja H2 this bike is beautiful very powerful I never thought I'd be able to ride one I knew eventually maybe I would but I am going to get a chance to ride and review this. I'll let you know what I think of it, and uh, we'll get Corey on here in a second. Go down below, follow his channel. I'll link his channel on the bottom of the screen and in the description, and stay tuned. So, 30k, 30 bands up underneath me. I mean, I have rode a Ducati V4S before, so I'm not really worried. It's just the motorcycle, you know. Let's turn on the center here and get Corey in here. And, uh, yeah. This doesn't feel too intimidating at all. But there we go. All right. Better, I'll be Ta I'll yeah, I was gonna say I was talking to myself, but this does not feel like I don't know. When people look at it, it looks intimidating. No, it does not. It feels normal. It feels very comfortable. I'm flat footing the bike, and I, it's different than what I thought. I guess. It feels good though, so far, you know. Uh, you do got it. It says a, you got an ABS light on. Okay. So. Probably. Clutch release on this bike feels pretty good. You recording? Okay. Now the uh, quick shifter up and downs activated, right? Alright. You stalled. Trying to get into neutral. Woo! There we go. Gotta get used to this clutch on this. Quick shifter feels smooth. And it, this bike definitely feels a lot better. I see what you mean by comfortable because it does not feel like it's 500 pounds at all. Yeah, 
go. One, two, three. Oh, you gotta go up. Okay. Yeah, that'll take a lot of time to get used to. Especially, especially doing it on the fly. tell you that the pegs and everything seem comfortable whoa oh my god <laughs> this thing just took off I was not expecting that no sir Jeez. Whoa the bike feels oh my god it really all right all right all right this is your boy stun away and we're here today we're here today on the monstrous H fucking two, and I just got on this thing, and it's just ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. I was trying to take this with a mild approach, but it's monstrous. It's, it's actually crazy. It's a gorgeous bike. I will say that much. And uh. It's just, oh my god, it really, take, it, it really takes some getting used to this bike because, because I'm just sitting here playing with second and third gear and it's just crazy. I took the opportunity to take this and because I, will, I won't be purchasing one of these $30,000 bikes. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous bike and the power, man, I can't even explain the power. If you haven't ridden one, there is nothing in words that I can say to describe the power that this bike has. So with that being said, if you ever have the opportunity to ride this bike, please do so. If you got a buddy, as well as like I do, that will let you ride the bike, do a photo vlog on it or something just to get a feel of what the bike is, please do. And you will be shocked, totally, and I mean it's just ridiculous the animalistics of this power that this bike is putting out me coming off my uh, GSX-R1000 to get on this I mean there's uh, absolutely everyone already knows there's no zero comparison all right let's go all right first time accelerating <laughs> just, so I'm just gonna. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that is the same reaction I had when I first rolled the bike, and people thought I was crazy. 
I mean, I'm not even going that fast, but just the, the power delivery. The power delivery on it is just crazy. This thing is so like you don't feel you do not feel the weight nothing auto blip works really nice thing is like trying to get into neutral like I go down and up and I go in the second and then have to go back down to neutral wow yeah I see what you mean I mean I only gave it a quarter throttle in first or second gear the front tire just you could just feel it getting so weightless it, I can't imagine this thing unleashed. But all around though, I see what you and Eve were talking about. This bike is very, very comfortable. Way more comfortable than my bike. If it was unleashed and tuned and everything, man, ah, you gotta be an experienced rider to, to jockey one of these bikes, man, I'm telling you. This thing is beautiful. Tank sparkling. What's it called? Black mirror spark or mirror spark black? Okay. Yeah. Chirpity chirp chirp. <laughs> Just trying to get used to this clutch though. 
we're just gonna keep going straight yeah pulling off yeah just trying to figure out where it releases at Ooh, chirping man chirping finally getting used to being able to put it in neutral yeah you're like programmed to it after you do it a couple times Your miles aren't up on the screen right now. No, they're not. 33.41. Lean angle. Lean angle? Okay. Oh, and it got your, it's got your tire pressure or is that your lean angle? No, that's a lean angle. Okay. It does not ride like that at all. We're gonna fade over here real quick. Round two. Round two. roll on this isn't too bad I have not noticed the touchy throttle that people were talking about maybe because it's not flashed okay all right, it's refined okay Here, cruising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, the brakes on this bike are exceptional. They feel identical to the uh, V4S that we rode last year, for sure. I really even didn't have to use the brakes anything crazy at all.
man, this thing is crazy. This, uh, no, we can go to the next one and make the right. <laughs> he said no turn on red and runs right through it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that front tire was just barely touching the ground. Yeah, so this was the review of uh, my man Corey's 2019 H2. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to get a chance to ride it again. But um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And uh, stay tuned for new content coming. Going to get out here and enjoy this uh, nice day. But stay tuned, guys. Be safe out there. Stay healthy.